Greetings, everyone. Marvin Four here with Great American Survival, and we have a helicopter flying over us. Never, never fails. Where's he at? Lost him in the sun. It's overcast, but it's still bright. All right, so let's try this again. Good morning. Today we're going to be talking about Lure Lock. Now, Lure Lock makes these really cool gel inserted tackle boxes. I've owned and currently own 36 and 3700 series. Uh, which are just both great options. I bought two 37s uh, back from Black Friday from a special they had online and bought two of those. And after six, over six months of abuse, uh, getting super dirty, muddy, I've dropped them in the lake. I mean, I've done, I put them through, through the ringer. They've held up great. Uh, they're easy to wash, they're easy to reset, but that was the main thing. Do they work? Yes. Uh, we're going to go inside, we're going to open the boxes, we're going to show you the ones I have, show you a couple different options you get. And guys, these things are cool. I hope if you're interested and you're looking at change, upgrading your tackle storage, stick with us. I'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. So the first thing you're going to ask is, does it work? You, the sticky stuff inside these boxes is really well done. Uh, it fits in every little crack and crevice, and it's just super, super tacky. My other box, this is my 3700. I bought two of them back, at, back before Christmas, and these have been washed and still very tacky very tacky as you see everything yeah the hooks and things like that this one right here is not on the plastic so if it falls but these are my pond boxes uh, these are the boxes i've put together with a bunch of different tackle in them so i can grab one hit the lake hit a small pond whatever it might be when i go when i'm in my truck i keep the two of these in my back i've got another one over there but I just recently bought a couple of the smaller ones, like this, and I want to put those in my black pack for when I'm kayak fishing better. Um, I like the way they work, so I figured I'd add some more. The boxes themselves, like this one right here, is what they consider a medium. This is a really well done box. has some nice latches. The hinges are really are easy to, if they pop loose, they're easy to put back together. The different configurations, I will say, I don't think I have any of the other ones in here. Um, they come in a lot of different configurations. Like this one right here is a perfect example. This one's like a four, call it four something, because it's got four main compartments that you can't separate. This part doesn't come out. Um, and then it can be separated into one, two, three, four, five, six. So six times four, 24, boom. So this is a four by 24 box. Uh, when you order one, box comes, comes with this really cool sticker. I do wish there were little vinyl D, vinyl stickers where it was just the letters. I could put it on my truck. So, Lure Lock, if you're listening, make yours more vinyl so it'll be able to go on my truck and I won't have to throw it away after a few months. So, these are really nice. I like the dividers. The dividers are pretty well done. I like the fact that when they come, everything's, you know, done, you know. The ones I, the bigger ones, like this. This is one of the newer four plus one, or four, four in one, something like that. So when you buy the box, you get the box, boom, big box. Then you get a big flat 3700 series tray, no dividers um, for this one, but it's just giant. So if you're, when I bought this, I wanted this for swim baits. So another sticker, another code. 20% uh, 20 off, but as you see in the reflection, very well done. You got that one, one giant tray. Then you got this guy that's got a lot of, got four main sections, just like the one we were just talking about. And then it's got other places to be separated. But this one, I still don't think this one, yeah, this one doesn't have a place for anything to go. So it's just going to be one main compartment. Then you have a giant deep compartment like this one 
that's way down here. I want to be able to put my big swim baits. I've got some really big swim baits and I don't want something that's going to ruin my finish on these swim baits. Whether you're talking about bull shads or jackals or any of these, you know, 50, $60 swim baits, this isn't going to mess up those custom painted lures or anything like that. Very cool stuff. The boxes themselves, ones like this, I just, I've got one doing a giveaway and it was like 12 bucks. So 12 bucks, easy enough. Nice boxes, 3,600, 3,700 series. And they do make a small series, but I haven't bought any of those. And the small series are smaller than this, the next size down. I don't know what they call those, I forgot. But they work really good. When I first got mine, I was skeptical, just like anybody else. I was worried that when they got all caked up like this, as you see, this is cleaner, but I just went on vacation. So as you see in here, you take it out, hose it off, just hit it with, you know, just spray it with a nozzle on your dishwasher out of your sink, spray it, scrub. I sprayed it down with that power wash from the Dawn, you know, sprayed it down, washed, just rubbed it over with my hand just to get all the debris loose and then rinsed it off. Then just let it sit somewhere and dry, and it's back to tacky. Pretty cool stuff. Like I said, we just did a giveaway with um, through our mystery tackle box review. Those were that was pretty cool. Uh, the winner will be announced with this next video that we put out. But guys, go over and check out Lure Lock. These products work really well. Uh, cutting down on our la our noise when we're fishing. If you're fishing out of a kayak or a John boat or anything like that, just cutting down your noise can help especially in a kayak, so many things we do are promoting, uh, producing noise into the water that just startles fish. We work really hard at may, being able to be stealthy and get where we need to be without having a, going to change a lure and having it make a lot of noise. So just cutting down, like I said, at first I thought it was a gimmick, but I like it. I think they're pretty cool. I think there are worse things to you know spend your money on, definitely. If you're looking at buying boxes and you're already going to be buying them, I think the kit, they sell a kit where it's like what they call a lure locker, which is like it holds like four or five or six or whatever it is of these. Pretty cool. Um, I just ordered one of those because I wanted one that I could put these two. I have two of these big deeps and it'll hold two of those and one of those just like that. So it'll hold those two boxes and that in the box and I can take it and just boom, carry it put it in the truck, put it in the boat, put it on the kayak and go. That's what I want to do. I want to minimize. Um, I want to make my organization as best as I can to make it where when I'm on the water, everything's labeled. Like in my black pack, all my stuff is all labeled. It's easy to see. So when I'm re cause I'm, everything's behind me. So when I reach back, I want to be able to look at those tags and those labels and know what I'm ordering, what I'm grabbing. So these right here don't really have anything across this where the latches stick up, but put it across here. You got a good space here to put crankbait, jerkbait, jig, whatever you want. So very cool stuff, guys. So the boxes work. Uh, they do exactly what they say. I really have enjoyed them. Um, I think not just for kayaking, but for bass fishing in general, they really have a purpose. And I think you will too. Um, if you like this video, give it the old thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, we did have the pleasure while we were on vacation to meet several of you down in Gulf Shores. Thank you so much. We really enjoyed meeting you. Um, if, if it was any of you, post your pictures on our Facebook page and share them with us so we can share them with other people. We really enjoyed meeting everybody. Thank you so much. Uh, we look forward to meeting each and every one of you if you'd like comment down below tell us where you're at we are in georgia but um if you're ever in the athens area either on vacation or just travel work whatever it might be and you'd like to hit the water um we would love to get to know you guys all better thank you so much for tuning in we appreciate it so make sure you go over and you check out lure lock make sure you check out their other other products they've got some cool apparel things like that but guys these things are really cool it's a great product and it works so I'll put a link to Lure Lock and I'll put the save 20 promo code down in there. Hopefully it'll still work. If it doesn't, we'll try to find you another one. But guys, we're approaching our 5,000 subscriber mark and we thank you. Thank you for being part of it. Thank you for sharing us with all your friends and family. Thank you for sharing us on social media. We appreciate it. We really do. Um, we hope everybody had a wonderful 4th of July. 
Hope you guys are still going to have a wonderful summer. And make sure, like I said, if you guys do anything, have any crazy adventures or anything, and you just want to share them with us, share them on Facebook. We have a Facebook page for Great American Survival, and we would love to get to have it and share with each and every one of you. So thank you guys so much. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Remember to take time to get out there. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy nature. Be prepared. And stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon.